is your playground, Abstergo. Hello human bodies, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly install the Lynx ISE software on your PC. I have already downloaded these three files. The download link is provided in the video description. These two files are in RAR and TAR format, so we are going to need 7-zip software to extract these files. At first install 7-zip software. Now right click on the Zilinx ISE software, and go to the 7-zip option, from there click on extract to Zilinx ISE, this will extract the setup file of the software. After extraction, extract the crack file of the software too. Open the Lynx ISE folder and double click on X setup to run the installer. Click on next, tick both the boxes and click on next. Tick the box and click on next. Here we can see many variety of these software, but we need to install the selected option which is known as ISE Design Suite System Edition, then click on Next. Make sure that you have ticked all the boxes, and click on Next. Here you need to select the directory, wherever you want to install the software, I'm gonna install it on D Drive. Check all the boxes and click on Next. And at last, click on install. This is a lengthy process, it may take up to one hour to finish the installation, so sit back and relax. Click on next, next, I agree and install. And now just follow me carefully. Here also, click on install. And again click on install. Click on OK button. Finally, the installation is completed, click on finish. And now close all of these software and open Zilinx ISE from the desktop icon. We need to activate the license of the software. Here you can see, that the license is not yet activated, click on OK, it will open up the license manager. At the end, you can see an option called locate existing license file, choose the option and click on next. Now click on the load license button, and you need to locate the crack folder, that we extracted a moment ago. Select the license file and click on Open. License installation was successful. Click on OK. Now close the software, and open it again from the desktop icon.
So finally our installation is completed without any errors. So that's the end of our video, if you found this helpful make sure to thumbs up and subscribe to support us. This is Devi Diva from Team of Stergo, signing out.